Skywalker Buck and the Game Beam, and I just want to say congratulations! Look at that! We're on 7 million T Rexes. We're continuing with the T Rex event. Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the Game. Wow, I did that completely backwards, didn't I? Right, well, it looks like we're gonna get, for everybody who has this game, 2,000 DNA. That's a lot. That's almost enough for a legendary for everybody to get. So that is pretty. I'm pretty proud of you guys. We've done awesome. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I had something else to put in. Oh, I should have been doing that. Ah. Oh. Hopefully, I can get another legendary. But, I mean, I can put a super rare in. And not that I am going to get a legendary. I think. Yeah, it's still do. We're still going to get the super rare pack. But this is so, so good. Because if you have the ability to just keep on doing this event over and over and over, you can really reap the rewards. Ah, oh, even more stuff. Some books, some DNA. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm not going to say no to any of that. Give me it all, Lydia. Just give me. Give me it all. I'm going to quickly go around and collect from all my stuff. Because we are going to need it. I th Actually, I don't know. I mean, I don't need it right now. But if I don't collect it, then it's... Oh, that's right. We have a mission as well. This is another mission which says collect 150,000. We're on 142,000 from communication centers. So if we just go... Actually, I should have done this there. should have done that because I bet I'm going to get a mission that is collect so much from um, oh, from dinosaurs. And I've already collected all of them. I heard something. What are they saying? If you keep talking, we won't hear anything. It's out, out, our. He's rapping. It's, it's out, out, out. Fiddle with the knobs. Or oh, shout. Well, don't fiddle with knobs. That's bad. Hello, it's Zach. Can you hear us? We're both being extremely weird. Now that we're back and you've seen all the wild dinosaurs, Barry, do you think I'm right? We have a problem. Barry! We certainly have a puzzle, my friend, but I am not convinced it is a problem. At least, and not if we act right away. We should see Claire as soon as we stow the gear and wipe clean all this mud. Why wait until then? No, 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 the present! Hello, Claire, I see you got my note. Did you miss me? <gasps> Collect 500,000 coins from carnivores at oh, level 31 or higher. And collect 500,000 coins from pterosaurs. So we're going to get this mission. And I bet the next mission is going to be collect 500,000 coins from herbivores and 500,000 coins from amphibians. Um, and I have already collected from all of my stuff. So that's just fantastic. I guess I'll do that another time. And I don't really need to do the missions. Um, just because I'm going to get to level max up level 56. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to be able to get anything higher. So if I get to that point, then um, I'm hoping these next two missions will just push me. I want to stay like that. I want to stay where I am now because if I keep on going, I'm going to get XP from making Indominus Rex and making all that stuff. And it's going to be, it's going to go to nothing. So again, I'll have to do what I did last time, which is get lots and lots of targets. Oh, I've got pain on me and it's not coming off. Uh, okay, T-Rex challenge. T-Rex challenges. Sukumimus, doing you. Let's do it. Now we get the advantage. We gotta go first. So I am hoping that we can kill it. I should have brought in the Spinosaur, but I think I've only got a level 30 Spinosaur. And, uh, oh no. Right, he's got two blocks, possibly. So, sorry, one block. I'm going to go for one block just in case he went for a Rizzo. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Right, four, five. Now, ah. Oh, I don't know. He's got three, right? He might attack or he might block. Now, he can kill me in two. So, I need to go one, two. Ah, screw it. Let's just go for the risk. Oh, my God. He's killed us. Yep, there it is, there it is. Completely killed. Sukumimus, man, come on. You're the same level as him, and you're a legendary. What are you playing at? Oh, that was awful. That was horrendous. You deserve to be better than that. Come on. Like, T-Rex is just so OP in comparison to uh, Sukumimus or any of the other ones. Where's Spino? There's Spino. Come on, Spino can kill it. Easy, right? Rah! Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna go for reserve. Hopefully, it won't go for two attacks straight away and kill me. Oh, what'll do? Oh God. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the risky biscuit. I'm gonna try it and just see if we can go for three reserves and if he goes for all two reserves and no attack. Please, no attack, please, no attack. Yes! Okay! Six! Is six enough? Is it? Did Spinosaur kill him? Yes! Oh, beautiful! Oh, that was awesome. If I hadn't risked it there, even one, if I hadn't put that one in for all of them, all of them into reserve, and put one in for block, that wouldn't have been enough. Wow. Sukumimus failed where Spinosaur triumphed. Right, so. Can a team of all herbivores take on them, do you think? Mm, let's give it a shot. I mean, they've got a disadvantage, but we have an extra one. So yuck is selfless. Oh, why did I go for an attack? Why did I do that? Didn't even put him under the. Oh my. You know why? That's because I'm still sort of transitioning from the old style, which was um, attacks on the left and reserves on the right. So I went to reserve, but I actually attacked by accident. Oh, this was a bad idea. This was a very, very bad idea. Two blocks. I, I can live with that. That's okay. Three attack. No! I mean, yes. That's good, right? Okay. I can kill this thing. One, two, three, four, five. It's dead. One, two, and reserve. Okay, maybe I should have done two reserves. Because now Parasaurolophus isn't in a good situation. And again, T-Rex disappears with the sauropod's uh, final attack. Which doesn't make sense. I don't know why that happens. Oh god, six. Three. It's got it's got three block. We cannot kill it with just attacking full out. So we need to go risky here. We need to go with the risky play. And attempt one, two, and three. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh yes, he did block! Woo! That was a close one, right. Now he can kill us with two. So if it does go for full on four, which it doesn't, that's good. Right, we have more attack this time. Come on, kill it. Don't go for much. Two. Is five enough? One, two, three, four, five. Is five enough? Come on, please. Yes! Just, just enough. Ah, oh, these T-Rexes are easy. Come on, guys. We can do it. For that 2,000 DNA. That's another 150. You just speed through it. Oh, my God. I want to get this paint off. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Right. Enter. <laughs> um, now... Indominus kicked the ass of all these level 30s in one, and in part two, it kicked all the level 40s. But that was incredibly risky. Um, who do I want to try? Hmm, hybrid, no. Oh, that's right, okay, a fully maxed up Kool-Aid, fully maxed up Morton. And a fully maxed up Ichthyostega, the best of the bests. Um, I think that'll be enough. I know Ichthyostega's definitely won it. Probably hands down it has won it. But look at the attack on Kool-Aid, 219. I still think it can be killed with two though, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, please hold on, please hold on, please. Ah, Kool-Aid, no. He had such big attack. Well, Morton could easy kill it then. Uh, one, two, three. That's gonna leave me open though, so Morton's probably dead on the second T-Rex. Uh, but Ichthyostega's got this, easy. If it goes for two, it hasn't killed us, so it probably won't. Oh, it goes for one? <laughs> Why? Whenever they attack, they always put the rest of it into block. They never go for a reserve. That's what I'm noticing. If they go for an attack, they've definitely blocked. Um, I, I don't, don't take that as, like, a, a given, but that's what I would do in that situation. I'd be like, yep, they're definitely gone for, uh, blocks now. So, one, two, three, it's dead. Factor in two, and one, two. Oh, yeah, Morton gets a double kill. Double kill. Beautiful. On to the third one. I don't think you can get a triple kill, because this thing is going to have, what, six? Oh, five. Ooh, maybe. Oh, it's possible. Can it get the trebs? Six, one, two, three. I think that's enough. Triple kill. Oh my god, he killed them all. Extinct. 
Extermination. Jesus, on the extinction medal. That's pretty impressive. Sorry, extermination. I always think because it's dinosaurs, it's extinction. But it's extermination. We got, you know, it's not too much DNA, but it's worth it. Um, Who's an underdog? Who do I not use that I want to use? Do you think a full team of prions? Do you think that's possible? Yeah, let's go for it. And then, actually, before I do the final, I want to fuse them. I want to try fusing them to see what they look like. And I'll put in Indominus as well. I want Indominus to see if I can really beat um, a full team of level 40 T-Rexes. Because I did it once, but I don't know. That just doesn't seem right. Maybe it was a fluke. Oh, it's not a fluke. Because that was awesome. Indominus was great. But you never know. I'd like to try it again to see if I could do it. So it doesn't attack. I'm going to have it saved all for this last prion. Four. Oh, God. If it goes for four. Oh, it went for two. So it's only got two blocks. That's perfect. Didn't hit me. And it's only got terror block. So two, four, six. Well, two, four, eight, really. Uh, dead. Factor in two. And then two for reserve. That's great. And it did go for the uh, blocks because it attacked. I'm seeing a pattern there. If they do go for an attack, they will put the rest of the energy into block. They never go for reserve. If they don't attack, they go for reserve and block. Oh, so there it is, a full on four. Um, so that means they have nothing left. So. They have nothing left. So one, two, three, it's dead. Now, if they go for four, they have, oh no, they will have killed me, of course. Ah, so close. So close. Damn it. I should have been clever there. I should have went for reserves and blocks because the bot knows that four can kill me. And it goes for it. Damn. Ah. Right, that's what three level tens can do. But I'm curious. What can a level 30 or even 41 do? So how many do we have? Uh, I would. I want to have a level 40. But not just for the split second before I fuse it for a hybrid for, with something else. So I'm going to evolve it. Spend bucks. And hopefully, not too many. Now, there used to be bubbles in these test tubes. Used to be pretty bubbles. But now there's not. You can't make bubbles, darling. It's alright. Looks alright. I kind of like its color in its next evolution, though. So do I need one, two, three? Do I need two more? Ah, oh, come on! Eat my bucks. How many? How much bucks is it? Oh, 47. It's not too bad. I, I could deal with that. Right, that's another four. Awesome. I like how it its hands are weird. For some odd reason, its wrist goes below its hand, so it's like in the ground. That doesn't look right. Uh, so we have... Yeah, we need two more. That's what we need. Two more. So we can definitely get a level 30, though. Let's see what a level 30 can do. Oh, you kidding me? First time? Beautiful. Oh, awesome. Five. Now that looks cool. Yeah. Let's level up this guy. What can you do? Look at that attack. Is Prion the best? I don't know. It went... I had Microbosaurus for ages and he was the best. And then I maxed up Ichthyostega and then he was the best. Um... But Prion Sutures mm, could be a close contender. I'm not going to spend any DNA because I am sent, uh, saving it up for in another Indominus. But how close did that get? Oh, it's all the way up there. That's awesome. Now, I don't think it could do itself, like do it by itself. I don't think so. Um, ooh, will it slot in in between Ichthyostega and Microposaurus? Do you think? Or do you think it would be just a tiny bit better? Look at that Dimetrodon Unicorn Wizard has more attack and more health than Ichthyostega. That's awesome. Oh, I just realized Unicorn Wizard and Peck Out Your Eyes are the same. I never even noticed. Wow, okay. Don't know why that happens. Um, tell you what, I'll go for a T Rex and an Ichthyo. Uh, sorry, a Prion Sutures. That's right, be intimidated. I roar. You hang your head in shame. Depends what he's gonna do. Two hits isn't enough, so I don't know why it went for it. 
Because I could go for three hits and kill it now, but it's best if I save up for Prion. Because Prion can probably kill it in two hits. So therefore I'm saving goes. This T-Rex is a complete meat shield. So there you go, went for one, probably two reserve. One reserve. Two attack! Oh my god, okay. Two blocks for it. It is... It's worth going for it. So it's dead, factor in two, one, two, three. So we've only lost one, really. So we've got seven on the next one. We haven't, like we killed a T-Rex. We saved up enough to, for it not to affect us at all. Saying that, it won't affect us because I'm using T-Rex as a meat shield. If T-Rex was a valuable member, like Prion, then maybe it would be a, quite a loss. But look at this. It has no blocks, so one, two, it's dead. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, it's probably best we uh, fuse all of those um, Prion sutures. Prion suchus! <sighs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing, that's exactly what you're gonna do. Now I'm gonna go for the belly flop. One, I think it's six is a belly flop. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Is it four is a belly flop? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's four a belly flop. I feel like four's a belly flop. Four is a belly flop! Awesome! Well, I could have killed it if I went for a full-on attack, but I didn't want to risk it. Well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get the belly flop. Now look at it. It went for two attack. Which, sorry, it went for five, leaving two. So now we can go for the belly flop without any problem. Wooja! Double kill. Beautiful. But when this thing evolves again, it looks so cool. And that is another 150 DNA. That that's probably a little bit back from that. Indominus. Uh for backup, Coolosaurus. And a Microposaurus. Not gonna use Unicorn Wizard this time, because I'm wanting to see if Indominus Rex can kill this. Two hits kills it. That's the difference, right? Two hits from Indominus can kill a level 30 T-Rex and a level 40 T-Rex. So that's the advantage that Indominus Rex has. The only downside is a level 40 T-Rex has a lot more attack than a level 30. Now one attack I can deal with. That's cool. Um, now it, I could go for a full on attack here. And he will have two which won't kill me. He has one block. So what I could do is he has attack right so he will use that one block. And there it is, he did use it. So there was, I, it was better, better for me to save it, I think. Well, possibly. <laughs> possibly it was better. So one, two's killed him. One, one, two, and a reserve. I think he's went for one, not two. Aha! He did! Oh, that was a nice play by me. I thought he won't go for two. He'll go for one block and one reserve. That's why I put in, instead of two reserves and one block, I put in two blocks and one reserve. Because I got the feeling he was going to do that. Right. Okay, now, blocks are crucial here because even one save can be the difference between life and death. So I'm going to go for three blocks and two reserves here. And he went for a full-on four block. Oh my god. All right, then. Attack me. Go on. Oh, it didn't. Right, I could go for six and completely kill it. Um, that's thinking if he did go for two reserve. Uh, sorry, four block. If he went for four reserve... I'm screwed on the next go. So here is where I have to play it a little bit cautiously. So I'm going to go for three blocks and three reserves. He does go for three blocks. Leaves him with five on the next turn. Uh, hopefully it will go for a full on five. It doesn't, but we are one ahead of it. I get the feeling that this T-Rex, like me, is just racking up its uh, like turns. So it's wanting to get to eight. Because it knows that it can't kill me with two hits, so he needs to go for three. Um, so, with that on board, I'm gonna go for four blocks and three reserves here. Yes, I thought, I thought he'd put like seven. Yeah, I thought he had seven. Oh, it goes for it! Oh no! Ah, oh, T-Rex! You little bugger, you! Oh, Indominus, I'm sorry! Ah. Oh. I should have attacked and went for all block, but I do have reserved. Now, that just shows what I did in the last episode was so skillful. 
because taking on three level 40 T-Rexes with a single Indominus is suicidal. Um, again, it was just a matter of he couldn't kill me in two hits, so I was being very careful and not allowing it to get um, three hits in. But that time I messed up. Uh, you can never predict it sometimes. Sometimes they go for loads of blocks, sometimes they don't. And that time was just very unlucky. So, uh, Super Kool-Aid is going to have to go for a full-on eight and get over 10,000. Oh, it went for four blocks. Wow. Eat it, Froggy. Double kill. 4,000. It could have 10,000 if it didn't block, so it would have been over 9,000. That would have made sense because it's a Super Kool-Aid. And that is the event done. We don't get 150 DNA, but we get a pack, which is awesome. Uh, actually, I don't know if we do get 150 DNA. I don't see it clock over, so we might actually get it. But this pack has a chance of getting DNA. It did this time. We did get 250 bucks, which reimburses us for that. And an Ankylosaur, because I didn't have one. Oh my god, I didn't have an Ankylosaur. That's right. I didn't because I fused it for Ankylodarkus, which is there. <gasps> All right, then. Well, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.